I present to you, for your discernment, a visions and prophecy of Father Oliveira regarding the two current popes. Father Oliveira is a Brazilian priest who lives in Rio Grande do Sul, southern Brazil. This material comes from True Faith, a Catholic site in that country. To the best of my belief, these visions and prophecies have not been translated into English. For years, Father Oliveira has received mystical visions and prophetic revelations from God. Here is his vision on February 11, 2020 regarding the Popes. It was night and I went to celebrate the Mass on the day of Our Lady of Lourdes at the home of a family that I love very much. They have a little oratory there. During the consecration, while adoring Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, I had a vision. The vision was like an image coming out of the Eucharist itself. There were four sharp images. First, I saw Pope Francis getting on a plane, waving to the people and smiling. The second image was that of Red Square in Russia. I saw St. Basil's Cathedral and then I saw something similar to two stars colliding and a big explosion in the sky. The third image was the wake of the Pope Emeritus. There were few people around him and a lot of sadness. The fourth image was of Pope Francis walking alone through the streets of Rome. The street's appearance was like a post-war setting. He made his way to St. Peter's Square, but as he got closer, iron bars were raised in front of him. The bars were like those on ancient gates, and the iron was glowing. He tried to approach the square, but was unable to get through the bars. And on March 12, 2020, in a preview of future years, Father Oliveira saw the following. On this occasion, I woke up in the middle of the night and felt a strong desire to go to the chapel. I looked up from the altar and began to have a vision, the terrestrial globe rotating, with the number of years passing on it, and below I saw a series of images. I took out my spiritual journal and started trying to describe what I was visualizing. When I transcribed the images, I described them as I thought their meaning was. Therefore, I will tell you, first, the images I saw and, later, what I felt they could mean. I saw the Pope looking at the Russian flag. I interpreted, the Pope will approach Russia. I don't know if he will go to Russia, but he was looking at the Russian flag with some hope. Then I saw a window being opened and then there was a very big lull. During this lull, I saw people getting ready for something, stocking up on food. I interpreted, a window, period, of peace will arrive between 2021 and 2022, as the globe turned, but that peace will be like a false peace, for a short time. I think it's a period of preparation. I saw the numbers 2021 and 2022 and, just below, military personnel gathering. But they were as if they were in hiding, in a secret meeting. I interpreted, in this period, I believe that the first conflicts will start, but the world will not know. Then I saw a great fire in the upper part of the terrestrial globe. I asked myself, Will there be any catastrophe in the Northern Hemisphere? Then I saw the President of Russia pointing at the globe and chuckling. I interpreted, Russia will show her malice. Something will happen that will confirm a position of the President of Russia. His expression was like the one when you say, I told you. I warned. I saw Pope Benedict XVI being prepared for burial. I asked myself, will the Pope Emeritus go to the Father's house in 2022? Then I saw Pope Francis very hesitant to sign any document. He looked at the map, on which only the West appeared, Europe, America, Africa, and hesitated to sign the document. I interpreted, the Holy Father will have to make some very important decision that could change the course of the West. Then I saw the Brazilian flag smeared with blood or red paint. The Virgin Mary appeared, took the flag and shook it, brushing the dirt off the flag. 
I interpreted, in Brazil, there will be a violent period, or a great onslaught of communism, but the Virgin will come to the country's rescue. The globe continued to spin and I saw the numbers 2022 and 2023. Then I saw huge battalions marching, but the strange thing was that there was a very big silence. As in the image of the military meeting, I again felt that feeling that something was not quite as I saw it. I asked myself, will there be the beginning of a war? Will she be silent? It was again the sense of a conflict that will not be felt or seen or heard. Here it was very difficult to understand. Then I saw the Pope hurrying to a plane. He was accompanied by security and was almost running. I didn't see the Pope's face. I felt, the Pope will need to leave Rome for some urgent reason. At that moment, the globe spun and I saw the numbers 2023 and 2024. Then I saw only war. I saw people watching war scenes on television. I asked myself, will the world see the horrors of war in 2024? Will this appear on televisions? Or will it be a conflict that we will only watch, not being exactly physical? The certainty of a conflict seemed clear to me, but the nature of it was not. Then there was a chronological jump. On the globe, I saw the numbers from 2024 to 2029 flash by, and a great light appeared in the sky. I interpreted, there will be conflicts or problems until 2029. In that year, there will be some sign in the sky. In 2029, the world will look to the sky and the conflicts and wars on Earth will have to stop. After that, I didn't see anything else. It calls my attention that, again, the year 2029 appeared as the end or closure of something. And these were the visions related to the Pope. Let us pray for Pope Benedict who is now on his deathbed. May God bless you and keep you. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us.